So when we're dealing with a non-Christian in Europe, what we call a skeptic, someone who's pretty hostile to what we think and believe, uh, the question is essential for our engagement. And I would say here we're just following the model of the Lord Jesus Christ. He asked a lot of questions. And actually when he was asked questions, he didn't often give a very direct answer. Some scholars would say he, you can find three times where he gave a direct answer to a question that was put to him. But th there are so many levels on which questions function and are our, 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 our tool, our, our greatest tool. One is to put ourselves from the defense mode onto the offense mode. Um, so when there's a charge put against us, we can ask someone, well, why do you think that? Why do you think that religion is the cause of all the problems of the world? And, and, and I'm interested where you got this from and why, how you've arrived at this particular conclusion. Uh, I think the question is great also for actually turning the table so we can begin to understand the worldview of the skeptic. What do you believe on this matter? So it's putting it back in their, their, their territory, if you like. And I think the question is, is marvelous for, in a sense, turning the table and beginning to get them to express what they believe to us. Apologetics is generally framed in terms of giving a good answer to a question, a reasonable answer. But I think we need to see it increasingly today for skeptical Europe as questioning their answer. We use our questions to begin to question the answers they have to the big questions of life. So questioning the answers of the secular age, I think, is a critical apologetic tool that we need to develop in terms of our understanding and practice as we engage non-Christians.